Hello guys, what is up? How are you doing? Hopefully you're having a great and wonderful day. Oh, man, it's, a, a lot has happened. Uh, well, not, yeah, actually, well, the house looks absolutely amazing, I love it. Uh, mind you, it, it's only the, the, the first floor. <laughs> no, there is still a lot to do. Oh well, oh well. Uh, we're working hard in the workshop. We got ourselves two sops and two airships. Figuring out what to do. Ah oh, man, I've been leveling my crafters a lot. I was actually uh, planning on streaming yesterday and I wasn't because I was, I was recording Halls of Torment. Yeah. Oh, it's a glorious day. Look at that. It's so bright. I love this place. It's so good. So I got all of my crafting classes to level 40. Like my botanist level 42. My fisher level 41. And my miner is level 41 as well. It means that we're very, very close at reaching, um, what well, we could say, like the end of a Realm Reborn for mining classes. And, and I do want to get them to level 50 so we'll get those notes and i can actually start assisting with the company project uh, and just start gathering for them we have plenty of people that do the crafting what we do <laughs> eat more is um is people doing the, the gathering you know it, it, it's always fine always fine let's go to my retainer because i've been sending it out on Mining missions and let's take a look what he brought to us this time. Let's see completed uh, Raw Sunstone Huh, okay. Well, that's 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 nice. That's nice uh, We actually do need to get ourselves one more retainer and uh, we have 30 venture tokens. This guy is level 11. Well, let's assign you to venture. To come, can we just go? I don't want to do clip. Well, we could do mining and we could get everything. See what we need. Well, not this one, but it's the requirement, I think. Yeah, he's like level. 11 so we could start make him do shards and he will every 50 minutes he'll get 60 shards which i think is a waste of your time so yeah but you know you see this this eventually will help especially if you have the notes i think i, I think he could do notes i'm not sure about that but uh we'll, we'll figure that one out when he gets there uh for now he needs gear no, actually, yeah, he needs gear. He needs item level 30 gear. What level are you again? 11. Uh, let us head over to... Well, first to... I think Ulda. I want to go to Ulda and get myself a retainer over there. Uh, we'll make him a botanist. Yeah, I know. Look, if I had three retainers... And, and I'm not sure if the companion app... Uh, I had to ask Zell, actually. Uh, Zell. Did the companion... 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 App give... A third retainer. Not sure. I, I, I'm... Something in my brain is telling me like... Yeah, it could actually give you a third... Retainer. If that is the case, I might switch all of them and we'll RP it a bit. And the reason I say that is because then I would make my retainer in Limsa fisherman, uh, the retainer in Gridania a botanist, and the retainer in Ulda a miner. Why? I honestly don't know. It's, it's because I think it's funny. Let's take a look. Com uh, Final Fantasy 14. Uh, companion app uh, perks. No, not persona perks. Yeah, it's free with paid version. Oh, so third retainer for buying. App. Hmm. 
I don't like that. Let's take a look. Campaign app. I don't want that. Yeah, well, actually, that is what true. You'll get a bit more inventory space with the free version on the companion app. Get a tombstone emoji? Why? Premium plan. I don't get those coupon knots, um, but we'll actually, yeah, we'll get one additional retainer and you, the Chocobo saddlebag is doubled. That's actually quite expensive, five bucks every 30 days. Yeah, I, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, five books. A month. I'll think about it. There you go. Uh, anyways, then it doesn't really matter now, does it? Uh, let's go to this person over here, which is your retainer vocate. And I'm actually thinking I'm, I might still change it, making the, um, I want to release the one that I have in Limsa and then just get it in like Redania. It doesn't matter. It, it's a tiny bit of RP. Just, just let me have this. Let me just have this. Uh, ha ha, hire a retainer. Mm hmm Okay, great. Let's go. Uh, do I have anything loaded up? What is this? Seeker of the Sun. Go with you, and then go with Hell's Guard this time, and then we go appearance, and let's go randomize it. Oh no, what's up with the damn tattoo? Why did I not save my daily fix as a... As a look, actually... This actually does not look too bad. Face tattoo. Face paint. Oh, is he having a lipstick on? Let's take a look here. You know what? We'll, we'll customize it a bit more. This is so... Actually, that's quite cool. He looks kind of, he looks kind of cool. He has two different eye colors. Hair colors, f uh, no, the hairstyle is just, just a bloody joke. No. Yeah, I think I, um, I would prefer something very normal. I, I summon him once a day, so imagine my surprise if he looks like crap. Well, whatever. Okay, let's go. Um, hair color's fine. Jaw, eye shape, sure, why not? Iris, iris color. Uh, don't want old eyes. Green. More like a blue, I think. Uh, nose, mouth. Can we just go with none? Thank you. I like the, um, I like this. We can actually think about him being... He was an adventurer and then did this. He almost died. And he gave up. And now he is a, uh, he's a miner. Yeah, that's that's how we do it. Uh, no, we don't have to save this. Fine, like, yeah, we'll do it. I don't want to let him be like he he's rough. He, he he's seen it all. He he's like, yep, yeah. okay, yeah, I'll hire him. 
And as a name, um, we'll just give him Kenny Dyer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We need to make sure that we have a few things in our inventory. Um, we need an axe. Well, we'll take it away from the other dude and send him off on its way. Which is perfectly fine. Summoning bell. Uh, well, I can't really let him go. So we might as well make him a botanist. Like, okay, whatever. It's fine. Make him a botanist. We need trade craft merchant? Wait. No, not you. It's battle craft. Most likely need the other way. Let's move to our ninja, because I think its movement speed is better. Independent arms merchant. No. Independent merchant. Field craft merchant. That's more like it. Of the land of the tool, we'll go with level 1 to 9. And give him... The level 1 hatchet. There we go. As for the mining dude, he is level 11. It is level 11. Eye level is one. Oh, that is not enough. Let's equip that. Uh, we need gear. Just, just clothing. If we can get the other guy to... Which probably is not going to be possible, but... The other guy to I-30 as well. Then we don't have to bother, worry about this anymore. Where's the... Arms merchant. There's two arms merchants? Arms mender and arms merchant. Okay, never mind. Need to go to the other guy again. Um, if you want the additional space, there's always alt. Uh, so true. Here's the hand of the land. Um, one level one gear. It's level five. You know this. This doesn't matter at all. Like we know that we need one thirty with level ten. So let's give him. Let's give him a hat. Let's... We can't give him this. Gloves. That's control. Oh, wait a minute. Perception. Sell that again. We need to make sure that we do get the right stuff. Like, it doesn't matter for him, I know. But, you know, it matters for me. Gathering, yeah. And again with the control and the... Uh, we need the other one. We need the lower level stuff. Uh, one to nine. So we have hat, we have pens, we need top. Craftsmanship, gathering. There you go. And gloves. Gathering. Maybe we cannot get shoot. Well, whatever. We'll just get it like this. It's fine. Let's go. When you get to Heaven's Ward, like, you'll just get the gear that you can get from a merchant over there. That's the highest level you can get. And, and it's fine. Because your guys are level 50 by the time. Uh, let us get... the gear. We could get it, give him a sledgehammer. Yeah, that doesn't bring him to eye level 30 at all. He does need a sledgehammer. 
He's maybe he needs to be like level 30. Maybe that's more like it. Requirements 30. Or whatever. He, he has four. It's fine. You, you go do you, mate. You, you do you. Here's the guy. Ah, work getting done. Just point me right in the bloody direction. I love that. Uh, assigned class. Uh, botanist. Yeah. No, he's seen so much combat. He's done. He, he just wants to play around in the dirt. Be a gardener is what he wanted to be. Main arm is that. Here you go, dude. Uh, let us sign you a venture. Woodland expedition. See you back in 18. Okay. So, speaking of that, that meaning we have two retainers going all over the place, right? And we currently have just over a thousand seals. Now, these venture tokens, they will give you. It will cost you like a hundred. It's, it's not brutal. It's not brutal at all. Like, we can get 30 right now. Don't have to worry about a thing. Speaking of that, I've done so much gathering and crafting, I don't want to deal with it. So, it is actually time. Reap the whirlwind. We go to Blackbird Station. We go and focus on the MSQ 2.3, which we are in right now. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 I, I remember again. We are doing the uh, the refugees that, you know, weren't, weren't on the friendliest terms at the moment. And we were doing it on our white mage because of the levels. Like, okay, if we reach level 60 on a class, I want to start a new... Uh, well, we don't, I kind of do want to start a new class. And that's just for doing dungeons. Like, the seals and stuff like that. Because I, I feel, I don't want, I know it doesn't matter, okay? I know it doesn't matter. But I kind of don't want to have them, like, over the level that you're supposed to be in Heaven's Ward. Anyways, let's talk to this, uh, this dude. The merchant wished to approach approach the refugees in stone throw but was waiting until the flames withdrew their forces from the vicinity now that they have there is nothing to stop him from continuing his work how many more must perish in pursuit of this futile uh, futile cause how much more suffering must we endure before it ends find him convince him to seize this madness uh, this mad quest and uh, it will surely lead us to ruin that's true man everyone will hate you if that keeps up uh, merchant is there. It's actually not too far away. Uh, you have 15 minutes. Let's give you some more food. Speaking of that, let's take a look, companion. Almost level 8. Uh, we'll get there. Let's go fly because that is the fastest way of travel. Uh, going into the wrong direction. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. That very much is looking great. Now, I wonder what the merchant is about, is going to do. Like, what he's up to. Like I said last time, like, I didn't really read a lot. <laughs> I skimmed through it, mostly. And I'm actually quite happy that I'm starting to read it. Ellie. Have you seen my parents? They told me to stay here with the others. They said they'll be back soon, but it's been days. They left with a man from Ulda. The man said we're going to change everything. Make it so we could live inside the walls with everyone else. I liked it when he said that. I didn't like it when he talked about making the rich people pay. Everyone looked so angry. I got so scared. I got I got scared. Say, are you looking for someone? 
I'm looking for a merchant. You mean the man who left with my parents? But I don't know where he... Ah, you do. Wait, look, over there. I think that's him. Well now, which of these gullible fools may be my next victim? I would wave. You, I, I... Start running. Alright. Go chase him down. He's getting away. Go after him. Like they're trying to be overly polite. Go after him, miss. No one say that. Grab him. Grab him by the nuts and throw him back into some wall or pit. Tell him where my parents are. No one would say that either, but, you know, I think it's funny. You won't outrun my chocobo, you bastard. There you go. Mistrustful. My challenge. My god. You again. Why are you pursuing me? Sedition? Sedition? Treason? Revolution? That's preposterous. Who has filled your hat with these lies? Refugees? The self-same refugees who terrorized the streets of Ulda? You have no evidence to prove your accusations. None. No, I will not accompany you to the Hall of Flames. You have no right to detain me. And if I now stare at you. For the sake of argument, let us say I did do these things you claim. Surely you don't think I give a quirin's ass about politics. It was business, only business. We both know I was not the one, I'm not the one you want. However, if you agree to protect me, I swear that I shall tell you everything. Well, that's a failed quest. Good shot, by the way. What is this commotion? Seven hells. Tell the others to spread out and search the area. The killer may still be close. Okay, stone torch. Old adventurer. I know... Uh, I would know more about your relationship with the victim. As well as the events leading up to his death. This man is responsible for the recent riots. May we owe his murderer a debt of gratitude. In any case, it's obvious you are not the one who we seek. You may carry on with your investigation, sign. Okay, let's go to Ulda. Uh, luckily, that is quite close. I failed. Oh, that's why I hate Mario. What news, you know? Where is the merchant? Well, he died. <laughs> murdered. Damn it all to 7L. He was not simply murdered when he was silenced. Too many knew his face and he was ready to divulge his secrets. Do not despair, though. We may be close to identifying the true orchestrator of these riots. 
we're closer to identifying the true orchestrator of these riots than you realize. Cool. The flame general left word that you were to proceed to the fragment chambers as soon as you return. He wished to discuss your recent discoveries as well as the results of your own investigation. Master Alphanot has already been informed and should be waiting for you outside. Pray proceed to the Royal Promenade with haste. Alright, we'll do. Fine. We'll do it. Also, let's take a look. We have some coin, right? Yeah, 550. What do we still need? Wait, what, what's that? Primal? That's new. I've never seen that. Mirror of Whirl. Interesting. What does it look if we open it? Oh, yeah. It does have the... Oh, nice. Oh, that is cool. We need to... Oh, man. We need to do the whirl a lot. Yep. That's going to be a nightmare. Great. Oh, we could go for the hat, the gloves, I think the boots. Yeah, we'll go with the boots. I kind of do feel we need to keep doing the, the raids. I've been doing the raids because you'll also get like gear. I can either put in the clam chest or I can just... Sell for seals, like you'll, you'll get four, five hundred out of them. You know, that's actually, it's not bad at all. Chamber of Rule. This is where I, I think I need to be, yeah. He's right over there. Here we go. Wait, what? Interesting. Did not think I get it from him. Let's Commander take it. Swift has kept us apprised of your recent activities. You've made great strides towards quelling the violence. Despite our best efforts to determine what provoked this uprising, the truth continues to elude us. Have you uncovered aught which might shed some light on the mystery? information does not leave this room. The Syndicate's decision to reject the Doman refugees' appeal for asylum had lasting repercussions. A number of those displaced by the Calamity claimed it was proof of a policy of discrimination. Together with a group of Alamegan refugees, they organized a series of demonstrations to protest against the Sultanate. Demonstrations which became heated, but did not descend into violence. Until a certain incident served as a call to arms. A unit of brass blades sent to supervise a demonstration loosed arrows upon unarmed protesters. It was this atrocity which prompted the refugees to take up arms. I need not tell you what followed. We assumed at first that the attack was born of a miscommunication. When emotions run high, they happen. But suspicions were raised regarding the unit's commanding officer, whom I ordered interrogated. Sure enough, our fears were soon confirmed. The dog confessed that a merchant had offered him coin to give the order. A merchant in the employ of Teleji Adeleji. Teleji Adeleji? But he spoke in favor of the Doman's cause, and has ever seemed sympathetic towards the refugees' plight. Why would he do such a thing? Know you of the Cartano Reclamation Bill? It is a proposal to annex the Cartano Flats so that refugees may establish permanent settlements. When last I looked, that was disputed territory. Aye, 
Some might even call it a battlefield. The destruction wrought by Bahamut was greatest at the Cartano Flats. That much is common knowledge. What is less well known is that his rampage laid bare ancient Alagon ruins, of which no record existed. There are certain differences of opinion as to how these ruins should be handled, which is why each nation maintains a military presence in the region to this day. Yet differ though we may, we are still allies. Therefore, in the interest of preserving the Aeorzean Alliance, we have reached an agreement. Any conflict which may arise during the course of military exercises in the region shall have no bearing on relations between our nations. In full knowledge of this delicate state of affairs, Telegi Adelegi proposed the Cartano Reclamation Bill. <clears throat> A shameless bloody ruse which stands to benefit him in but one conceivable way. If successful, he will gain control over the disputed territory under the guise of assisting in the resettlement effort. And you can be sure he'll build an orphanage next to every Alagon ruin. would threaten the unity of the Aeorzean Alliance and risk countless lives for personal gain. He walks a path all his own, independent of any faction and beholden to none of his fellows on the Syndicate. By inciting the less fortunate to violence, he hopes to convince others that the Cartano Reclamation Bill is the only viable solution. His sympathy for the plight of the Domans was not but posturing to gain credibility with the refugees. Of that there can be no doubt. Forgive me, but what could possibly motivate Telegi Adelegi to go to such lengths? What is so special about these ruins that he would risk his position on the Syndicate? And, most likely, charges of treason against the Sultanate? Omega. Pardon? An Oligon monstrosity, not unlike the Ultima weapon. Mayhap larger, we know not. It has yet to be fully excavated. Oligon inscriptions indicate that it was created to fell Bahamut himself. If accurate, it might explain why Nail Van Darnus chose to bring the Red Moon down upon the Cartano Flats. Given the ends he went to to ensure Eorzea's annihilation, destroying the one weapon which could stay the Elder Primal may well have seemed like good sense. Great sense. When first I bore witness to the power of the Ultima Weapon, I doubted the evidence of my senses. And now you tell me there is another such weapon? One which could contend with Bahamut. Bahamut! Aye, we were skeptical ourselves. Truth be told, until the Ultima Weapon's existence came to light, we thought the inscription had been mistranslated. At present, Omega is more akin to a fossil than a tool of war, having long since ceased to function. As such, its true potential cannot accurately be gauged. However, if someone were to restore it, as the Carleans did the Ultima Weapon, I have little doubt that he would wield untold power. Power enough to subjugate Uldar like as not, and the rest of Eorzea besides, which is doubtless why Telegi Adelegi yearns to have it. That he should aspire to world domination. He who has ever walked two paces behind Lord Lolorito in matters of commerce. Tis in acknowledgement of his own limitations that he seeks this power. Woe betide us all should we allow him to have it. Pray waste no time chasing rats. 
Only a fool would believe that secrets can be kept in Ulda. It would seem the implications of the Sultanate's refugee problem are rather more far-reaching than we assumed. Okay. Um... Oh, there's... <laughs> I did not see him. Uh, okay, post the Discord on the airship mistakes of format so I can understand. Uh, Alright, take care, mate. Right, have a good one. Thank you. Let's go. Let's take a look what Elfino has to say for himself. It sh I should be glad to know the truth, and yet, the thought that. All this chaos was the product of one man lost for power, sickens me. How long do you think they intended to hide the existence of Omega for the science? That they ever uh, that they even felt the need to do so is most troubling. It would be in our best interest to learn more of this mili of the military activities in the disputed territories. Unfortunately, you are already well positioned to do oh fortunately you're already put to lieutenant docent yeah pray keep us informed of any developments in short to know so i thought i think he's actually said that's the same thing sultan swan squad be gone well this is no place for children why are you being such a dick i'm sorry I was looking for you. You said you were looking for the man who left with my... P I did find him already. You know this girl? So, he visits Stone Throw as well, I see. Did you find the man? Where, uh, where my parents... Were my parents with him? They were not, I'm... How the hell do you know? However, I can think of several places they might be. If you like, we can go and look for them together. Really? You'll help me look, mister? He is not touching the ground, I think. Of course, but first, I must uh, needs finish speaking to my friend. She's telling me a secret, you see, and no one else is allowed to listen. Map, you could go and wait for me by the pillar over there. We require but a moment. Okay, mister, I'll be waiting. I think he's not touching the floor. But it could be me. I'll take over the quicksand. Mayab Momadi will know what to do. A legion of guardians and Aoife staff primals. Even dealing with an Asian would be preferable to this charade. Sometimes I feel Minfilia is too ambitious. We rush hi uh, Hitter and yon in response to fret as they arise without concern or for the strain it places on our limited resources and ourselves mayhap the time has come for a change <coughs> maybe you know this is menfilia i know this is sudden but i must ask you to return the situation at twelve which has taken a turn for the worse i will explain the details once you arrive yeah, we'll go back. I'll, I'll get something to drink. Does he have something else to say? The Twelve Suit. Then the primal threats he spoke of before has been confirmed. I've received no reports of Zin uh, Ixali activities, which leaves the Sylphs? Go, you know. You know as well as I that the appearance of primals take precedence over all else. Oh, and when you arrive, do inform the dissident that while I'm grateful for her concerns, she need not fear for my safety. I am more than capable of protecting myself. Alright. Take a look here. 
Go to Madonna. Get social on. Talk with Menphilia. It is a relief to see you healthy and hale, Una. The last news from Ulda was most disturbing. Clearly, the only injury Alfin had suffered was to his ego. Doubtless, I will, uh, it will heal ere long. The other signs will need to be present for this meeting. If you are ready to begin, I will summon them now. And I do need to do more dungeons because my money is a bit low. I, I donated some money to the FC. I don't need these. I see no reason to have these. Thank you for responding to my call with do or with such haste. Rest assured, I should not have summoned you were it not urgent. To business then. I have received some disturbing news from the Order of the Twin Adder. They have reason to believe that the Sylphs may have called forth their revered guardian, the Primal Ramu. I'm sorry, may have? Then it is not certain. The Elder Seed says uh, informs us that the Elementals themselves Mur uh, murmur, mur murmur of the Lord of Levin's return to the forest. The Simlands, however, display no signs of undue commotion. Forgive me, a dissident, but that fact needs to be. That fact need not contradict the elementals' testimonies. Unlike his most bellicose compeers. Gurada and so on Ramu is reputed to act only in the defense of his children. I imagine he would soon make his presence known if any were foolish enough to direct in danger the Sylphs or their territory. The abruptness of this development concerns me. We're not we're not Keeping a close watch on the touched ones. Uh, were we not keeping a close watch on the touched ones and their movements? If preparations for a summoning ritual were indeed underway, it should surely not have escaped our notice. Oh, it, I didn't. I was pretty sure it was going to happen, just not this soon. I beg your pardon, you foresaw this event and did not to prevent it? I told Papa Lima, I suppose I could have reported things to Menphilia earlier, but those, uh, but there's honestly, that, but there honestly wasn't much we could do to, could do except wait and see. You know how the ships feel about people poking around in their territory. They already summoned Ramu once right after the calamity, but that was because the Guardians came tramping through the forest. <laughs> Sucks to be them. And as long as Castrum Orient stands, the Sylphs cannot be blamed for wishing to have their guardian deity on hand. In short, Ida and I are in agreement. The actions of the forest folk were inevitable and unavoidable. And in and I maintain the observation. And I maintain that observation would have remained the best policy had it not been for the sudden influx of strangers into the Black Shroud. That, alas, we did not foresee. 
By all accounts, the recent violence in Ulda drove a number of refugees to seek safety under the concealing cantropy of the trees. It's like that it's it's like that the cells perceive this panicked migration as yet another invasion and quickened their efforts to summoning their god. I will put in mind of Titan uh, I am put in mind of Titan and the Kobolds once again. It is uh, it is the affairs of men which have paved the way for Primal's common. As he's definitely right. Indeed, one cannot help but wonder what manner of place Eosha would be without the civilizing influence of mankind. Be that as it may, this regrettable de development does not afford us any unique opportunity. Though you're dealing with the sylphs of little solens, you once succeeded in preventing an untimely conflict with Cradania. I wonder, might one who has treated as treated with the sylph so fruitfully in the past, not achieve similar success with their patron deity. If Ramu can be convinced of our intentions, it may be the first step to breaking the cycle of primal summoning. A fond hope. Were such a thing possible, we were not ha we would not have been at war with the beastmen since time immemorable immemorial immemorial man that's difficult but may have this time we can let us continue to uh, this discussion and none we must needs first consult with the nations most affected by ramu's presence so we need to go to gridania that's why this guy's there the elder seed has requested your personal involvement you know Pray report to Commander Alex at the Atlas Nest as soon as you're able to. St uh, steal yourself for the worst. While I hope for a peaceful resolution to this matter, experience suggests that your meeting with the Lord of Levin will prove less than amicable. Amicable. In such an event, your fellow signs will, of course, lend you whatever support you require. Yeah, yeah, they've done so in the past, of course. By getting there late, by not getting there at all, by leaving matters to me. Yeah, they've been doing great. To get me my list. I want to see how far I am currently. Because I'm thinking... We're actually quite far. Yeah, actually, we're not... Yeah, no, it's still very early on. Lord of Less, halfway through 2.3 already. Damn, man, that goes fast. Alright, let's go to... Why is he here? Still. He delivered his message. He should be... Be gone! Okay. That has an interesting side, I guess. I don't get why people think this is shorter than the one with Ulda, because I would now take a right and I would now jump on those crates, get in there. This is the same distance. The one in Limsa is, is, is furthest away. You know the signs, your arrival has been most anticipated. The appearance of a primal is ever cause for alarm and unease. Though my men stand ready for the for the eventuality, for any eventuality, I know of none more qualified than you to sniff out this threat. Indeed, I would have you do so without delay. The Elder Seeds, however, would speak with you first. She is of opinion that your diplomatic rather than martial skills may better serve our cause. I will leave further explanation to our learned leader. Pray make way. Yeah, okay. Just, just go, go to her. Yeah. Line. You want a line, actually? Really? That's unfortunate. Uh, the other signs have already arrived. May I show you in?
Why didn't we not... Why did we not travel as a group? Sometimes it does feel so weird. Scions of the Seventh Dawn. On behalf of the people of Gridania, I bid you welcome. Your presence is of great comfort to us all in these days of uncertainty. I summoned you here to share tidings of a most urgent nature. But a short while ago, the great elemental spoke, and his voice was clarion in its intensity. Ramu is returned unto the forest. Scarce had his words ceased to echo in mine ears when we were visited by an emissary from Little Solace. We know where I think. Our guest informs us that the Sylphs too have sensed the presence of the Lord of Lebin. Though his exact whereabouts remain unknown, we may safely assume that the Primal was summoned within the heart of the Sylphlands. Unlike the other Primals you have encountered, Lord Ramu is no raging avatar of destruction. He is revered as much for his wisdom as his strength, serving as both arbiter and guardian to his children. Given that we and the Sylphs found a way to share the Twelveswood, it is my hope that this sagely immortal will be amenable to reason, and that conflict may be avoided. Blessed as you are with the power of the Echo, you are one of the few among us who may commune with a primal without fear of influence. I would ask, therefore, that you represent us in this most delicate of negotiations. The Twelves Wood has suffered enough. Upon this, we and the Sylphs, and I would venture Lord Ramu himself, are in perfect accord. Let us not endanger our shared home by engaging in unnecessary hostilities. Dear friend, I beseech you, safeguard the peace which exists between our peoples. You have my thanks. Pray make for little solace, then. A member of the Order of the Twin Adder awaits you there. He will advise you on how to find the Lord of Levin. An ill wind blows through the forest. Yet, it is not only the Twelve's Wood that flinches at its coming. All the lands of Eorzea shiver in dread anticipation. Have care. All right. It reminds me I should most likely copy this to every one of my boss. If I, because I think these are always important, like Lucid Dreams and Swiftcast. Uh, let's take a look here. Presence of Mind. Lucid Dreams, I think, is a roll, as well as the other one, yeah. So that's always, like, the same. Doesn't matter which one. I need to really start, you know, paying attention to that. I still have the, the, the tendency to like let go of control and shift, so I kind of lose a tiny, tiny portion of time. What's up over here, by the way? Oh yeah, the king lives. That is the, I think, the hard mode of the good Mugu king. Don't think we can do that real quickly. Can we? The king lives. Speak with Cooper Cop in the branch path. Wait, you know what? We might just just quickly do that since we're in the vicinity anyways. Let's go there right now, so we might even queue it up. 
I quite like... <laughs> I like that fight. And this way we'll have actually have it unlocked. Oh, I know you would come, at least I was hoping. Not long ago, I had a stern word with the Mughal guard about the dangers of turning pleasant fairy tales into disturbing reality, but they insisted that the intimidating forces, intimidating force that is good King Mughal Morg XII, may his scepter of judgment ever command our respect, is exactly the sort of savior we need. The Mughal guards are afraid, Kippo. Afraid of how the forest has changed. Afraid of the never-ending conflict. Afraid that we Mughals may, know, may uh, have no place in this new world. I am scared of all those things too. But the thought of unleashing our royalty, uh, a royal menace upon the Twelves, which scares me even more. Please, you must deal with them firmly before this goes too far. A measured trashing, of course, nothing too brutal. I would just, just, just smack them a bit. It's fine. You may end the torch much here. Though the tear I've made in the ward. Through the terror in the wood, I may take, take good fortune, no time, let the other great quick king move on, may his reign, okay, okay, so we just now get a hard mode. Uh, we'll queue it up, uh, while we do the rest, because, yeah, it's kind of late. Ooh, that's the extreme, huh. Let's not do that, um, because... I want to do those things with the FC. Uh, and yeah. We'll see how things go. Speaking of which. Uh, some people are really starting to go down. I don't know what's up with the activity. Like I know this is me. Which I'm going to just say inactive. Because you know it's my character. I'm not using it. Eventually I will have to you know get rid of it. Things have become really, really quiet, and I don't get that, because the announcement of version 7 with a new expansion, you would actually assume people starting to play, like, get from... Ah, people don't realize that there is a major MSQ going on, right? I wonder, the graphical increases that they are promising, I wonder how that will go, because for me... The game looks amazing. I know there's some shader issues in this particular region. But, you know. Still nothing too bad. I was told to expect you. I understand you go uh, to trade. I understand you go to trade with the Prime Rum himself. The inevitable task. But one of which I have no doubt you are well suited. I've been told that your fellow signs are conducting an, uh, an investigation of the area as we speak. That we might uncertain the location where the Lord of Levin might be found. I would ask that you abide here until they return with their findings. Alright. That's fast probably. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that will actually cure or go fast. Otherwise, we'll start doing a tiny bit of gathering. I was told that the messenger would be sent as soon as your fellow science finished their investiga investigation. I do not imagine it will be much longer. There we go. This one returns and returns with good tidings. Wise ones have finished searching and they and have wisely identified the precise locations where the touched one summoned Lord Ramu. Your timing is impeccable, my fl flutery? flutery friend. Might you be so kind as to escort this good woman to a fellow science? Uh, it should be this one's pleasure. Yeah, okay, there's a tiny bit of, like, graphical stuff going on in this area. 
what I'm still, and I'm, I'm really hoping they will do, honestly, what I'm hoping for is they will do the voiced characters like everywhere. And I know it's a massive undertaking to do such a thing. And that they most likely will not do it. But if they want to keep the uh, the MSQ interesting for everyone, then I kind of think they need to. Okay, Maxio. Uh, wise ones have ventured deep, deep within the Sylph land. This one must proceed carefully and keep an eye, eye out for touched ones. Yeah, this is not the best location for you to be in. Uh, these will still attack me. Uh, most likely not going into the right direction. No. But yeah, still, I'm, I'm very curious to see what they will do. This one is most sorry, but this one cannot go further. Drawn too close to the Lord Ramu, and this one may turn mean and nasty like touched ones. And so, this one must say farewell for now. Walking one will find wise ones not far from here. To the south, go in safety, walking one. Because that would really help what I want to do. Like, I want to, uh, like, do a new game plus and record a bunch of the story. And then use, like, AI voices to tell the story. Because, well, my pronunciation and, and speaking and speech isn't the greatest. We, we all know this. To be true. Okay, Peppelinma. So it, uh, it, so it's actually you. I'm relieved. For a moment, I thought we were dealing with another one of those confound sylph tricksters. I swear, with them we, uh, wreaking havoc with their skin-changing me mechanics, it's a wonder I was able to finish making my measurements. Yes, it was quite the ordeal. You should have seen the look of your stolen face when the one impersonating you suddenly showed up. That's quite enough, Paplino. <coughs> my apology. Oh, my apologies. It's not like me to ramble. At any rate, <clears throat> my god, it's going well. At any rate, I was saying, I have finished measuring ephoretic uh, activities in the area, and I'm pleased to say I have reached an imp indisputable conclusion to wit that Ramu was called forth within the vicinity of the Sylph Ephorite. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Come on, the Lord of Leaven awaits. Every primal has this etherite, and he has now reached the conclusion that also Lord Ramu has an etherite. This guy is a pure other genius. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that, that figures. Nora betrays thee, sir. Hiding. Off that voice. Titan, Garuda, and Leviathan. Yeah, 
I'm I'm definitely like he's like oh you you my kin slayers. So for me you're definitely a threat. <laughs> I am Ramu, guardian of the children of the forest. Thou tramplest upon sacred soil, bringer of light. By what right doth man intrude in this sanctuary of the sylphs? The Gridanians proffer peace? Their words are born of delusion, thine offer an insult. Thou speakest of harmony. Yet carest not for my children's desires. They did but wish to dwell beneath these boughs in solitude. Yet even that was too much to ask of man. Not his voice actually moves, his mouth. Thus did they turn to me for succor. The sentence I pronounce upon thy kind is just. Redanian or Garlian, it matters not. The good intent of one excuseth not the misdeeds of the other. Thy conflict have brought naught but anguish and misery unto the forest. All blame doth lie with the darkness that resideth in the breast of man. Whence sprung this calamitous sea? In the beginning, no such duality existed. Were light and dark given form when man was born? It would explain much. Not least why strife and sorrow follow ever in thy wake. Thou canst not deny the urgings of thine own nature. How are you doing, Kaiser? Oh, needed that. What's up? Yeah, why are you still awake? That's a good question. How have you been? Cheers for the hydration, man. Knowing that thy mere presence here portendeth tragedy, wilt thou persist in this pretense of peacemaking? Thou bearest the crystal which I bestowed upon my wayward charges. That they should entrust so precious a gift to thee. Thou standest apart from thy kin. Thou art the bringer of light, I. But there is something more in thee. Very well. I shall consider thy proposal. Shouldst thou survive my trial? <laughs> oh, that's great. Great, actually, also. Uh, what even? What even is going on? What even is going on? Uh, like what I'm doing? Oh, I'm just playing Final Fantasy, man. I've been playing Final Fantasy, I think, since December, non-stop. Although I had to change character because I skipped so much of the first story that I didn't know what the hell was going on anymore. So I, I restarted and we're actually going to be given a trial by this guy and that's beating him. Which is fun. It, it's, uh, it's a hard trial. There's a lot of dungeons and trials and, and, and raids and stuff going on in this game. And, and there's a new update coming, a new DLC. I don't know when, I didn't really pay attention to the timing, but I know there is a new for that it's still getting updated. I'm so excited about if that. Thou would champion the cause of harmony. I must have proof that thou art fit to play the role. Whether mine eye, and prove to me thereby that thou hast strength enough to stay the darkness which threateneth to consume thee. I uh, don't know anything to store that. Yeah, but you, you basically see it like this. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV as the MMO is a huge, huge storyline game. For me at least. I think it's it's like that is... I'll, I'll sh uh, give you... 
I'll share a link and this is just just the MSQ as it stands right now uh, and and it's this is going to be let's take a look what part I'm doing this like I usually do f let's see that's 27 uh, that is actually 28 so this would be part 29 of me playing this game so consider that 29 times 3 hours and then is, I'm, I'm reading everything right every dialogue I come across or the blue quest I want to do have all of the dungeons all of the trials of the raids and I'm reading the entire MSQ so it's massive and I know I, I'm a slow reader I'm very slow at reading and I'm not reading correctly either because I'm dyslectic like crazy but it is it's been fun it's been a lot of fun like the progression the way the story goes and goes up is great and and so far for me personally I've been to the end of like the first expansion so that would be Heavensward uh, and then everything is new to me so I'm very excited when we reach that and currently we're in version 2.3 which is post a realm reborn so they're starting to lay like the foundation to heaven's water they're starting to really dive deep in some of this stuff that like in the past has gone but also just 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 start preparing us which is great if you ever have the time you should probably uh download the game because you can actually play it for free up to the end of Heavensward, I would say, level 60 or level 70, I, I don't know precisely, but you can play it for free for a while. And there's videos on YouTube going in like 1300 hours of gameplay just on the free trial. For me, that's just, just a, a big win. It's a great game. Yet if thou shouldst be found wanting, know that all men shall perish in the storm of my judgment. Well, ain't that nice? Come to me, bringer of light. I shall await thee on the field of battle. Urianger, it is rare indeed to find you so far from a tome. The Lord of Levin himself. Never till this day had I looked upon his visage, save in painted renderings made faint by time. Ever shall this scene remain etched in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Beg pardon, my lady. I must beg thine aid on a point of research. If thou art resolved to face Lord Ramu, I would ask thy leave to observe the event. Yeah, it, it just don't do it. it's just uh it don't go start reading yes <laughs> it's mainly to demonstrate or like give you a bit of an indication like how huge this game is uh as you may already know i'm on console so i'll have to wait till spring of next year where you have to wait wait wait, wait. your console was being repaired that i know till spring of next year why Because of the other game chef. You have, I know, I get it, I get it. Okay, so we need to confront this hard mode dungeon. Uh, it's a trial and it is not too much. It is the striking tree. Oh, I did not think it would be this fast. Which is actually quite nice, isn't it? We got two tanks, two healers, and four DPS. 
Oh, good times, good times indeed. I think really good. Hopefully they are still awake enough to hit the play button. I'll do my best not to keep let not let these guys die. So focusing on this bit for a bit. No, that's not true. I've, we have several people in the, the free company and on Discord that are playing on console. So spring next year is the new DLC coming out. reach everyone actually oh damn dude what did you do oh man okay he's being rest a bit more attention to healing because apparently they're not doing too great. I'm not going to be... Whoa! That was a lot of damage. Okay, let's go kill these. Yeah, they give you a bit of indication where things go. Let's go cure up our tank. Okay, right, let's go Medica. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, right, let's go do this one uh, real quick. But they need to go away from each other, I think. I don't think he's realizing it. Let's go away from me, please. That needs to die. Give him the arrow. That's the area of effect. Oh man. He's going to die again, isn't he? Q. 
gear up to a tank. Get out of those fields. I don't think... Have I been, you know, other than the attacks that are very much directed on me, have I been damaged, like, at all during this fight? Oh, kill him. There we go. That was not too bad at all. Love the song, though. Play a commendation. I'll, I'll go with the main tank. He did great. <laughs> the hell's going on? Man, he's tiny. Yeah, well, at least they're having a great time. Time to get out. I have taken thy measure, bringer of light. No, you you can just download this on console and play it for free. It has nothing to do with Microsoft. I'm playing it on on the computer, but it, this has been like cross-platform since I don't know how many years. And I judge thee a worthy champion. The task of excising the sin that hath taken root in man's heart is thine. Shrink not from employing thy strength in service to the forest and the wider realm beyond. Like hungering shadows do the enemies of harmony gather, and meekness will but feed them. If, if you need info, like, on the console, on how and stuff, I would definitely suggest just get the role for Final Fantasy. And, and just go into the Final Fantasy chat and just ask how it goes with Final with the console, I'm, I'm sure. I think, actually, 60% six, of the people we play with are on the console. If man is to be delivered from the dark... It shall be by thy guiding light alone. Stray not from the path, for if thou dost, thy people shall be truly lost. Thou hast slain the Lord of Levin. A regrettable act, but a necessary one. In witnessing thy struggle, a truth hath been revealed unto me. If I mistake not, it may yet prove a chink in the eternal armor of the Asians. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. You have an Xbox. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, sorry for that, man. Yeah, I did not think about that at all. I'm a console at all. Everything is the same. Well, <laughs> uh, well, considering a PlayStation isn't doing too great, I would say. I don't think PlayStation is doing great at the moment at all. I don't like the PlayStation 5 one bit. I'm not going to buy it. It's too expensive and the games are too expensive. Maybe eventually we'll see it on Xbox as well, but you're right. But let us conclude our present business. I shall expound upon my findings at the Rising Stones anon. But it is interesting actually reading or, or hearing that in the spring 2024 that the game actually is going 
to the Xbox. Then uh, that is you. Actually, that is massive. That may also include why they do the uh, graphical overhaul and stuff. But if you are going to wait until spring of next year, keep in mind the way the base game is now, which is the very first part you're playing through, it is a lot of reading. This game is from 2010, you know, with the version 1 and then it got to version 2 in like 2013 or something, I'm not sure, I'm just guessing here. And every new expansion, it is, there's more things like voiced dialogue, like we had right now. But you hardly come across that in the, for, in the, in the base game right now. Did we actually get some tomes for that? Ah, I think we actually did. Quite like these. They look nice. Is there anything I can do with them, by the way? I've never looked. I don't think there is anything we can do with them. You have returned. Dare I ask how Ramud received your visit? What do you think? He challenged you to a test of arms. It is well then that you are that that you have some experience in such matters. Some? The people of both Gradania and Little Sons will be relieved to hear that the Lord of Levin has accepted you as the forest champion of peace. You have performed a momental duty this day. Uh, the elder seats here must be informed of your deeds at once. The other seats I will wish to hear from you. Ah, oh, come on, man. Pray return to Gradania. Yeah, we'll do. <coughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go through Eat for Right. Conjurer's Guild. I actually wonder, like, how is my rep going? 72, that's that's not bad at all. I just need, like, 1,400 more. And I can be an actual mentor. At least get the crown instead of the, um, the leaf. You are returned to us, dear friend. And none the worse for bearing the heavy burden which I did press upon you. Most glad am I of this. I am informed that your efforts to negotiate a peace with Lord Ramu ended in conflict. Pray tell me, what befell? Really, conflict's more like having a bit of a brawl? Ramu made trial of you? I fear there is truth to his claim. It is the darkness within us that attracts the darkness without. It cannot be denied that misfortune follows man. For evidence, one need only look to the conflict brewing in Cartanel, or to the rising flood of refugees. Our shared struggle against the Empire should have served to seal our union. Yet the ties which bind the Alliance strain under the weight of gross self-interest. As the scars of the Calamity begin to fade, so too does our sense of common purpose. Yet now is scarce the time to forget our shared responsibility. If this new-sprung realm is to survive beyond its infancy, it must needs be nurtured by all. 
Eorzea must be as one. Yet I fear that dream is still far off. On behalf of the people of Gridania, and the Elementals both, I thank you for all that you and your fellow Scions have done. Full oft have I been compelled to look to you for aid of late, and offered all too little in return. As leader of this nation, I shall endeavor to prove a more worthy ally to your cause henceforth. Okay. <laughs> Lord Ramu has departed, yet the keening of this ill wind grows no less insistent. Voices of the forest, pray speak and I shall listen. What unseen evil begets this unease in my heart? Uh, thus ends another daunting mission. I hope Lord Ramoon could be persuaded with words alone, but nonetheless, I can only admire the adroitness with which you responded to the primal sudden challenge. And it seems that Orange too was pleased with the outcome. What say you, Ine? Shall we gather back at the Rising Stone and ponder the lesson of today? Right. I'll go back. I want to change the title up a bit. is on. Don't like that. There you go. What is my bird do? Get outside you bird. Welcome back in a uh, word of your momentous encounter with Lord Ramu precedes you. I would frame share nears of my own, but Orange discoveries must take presence. Up, uh, upon witnessing you defeat, your defeat of the Lord of Levin, your learned companion was struck with a profound insight regarding the nature of the Asian's immortality. Let us assemble and discuss his observations together. Because that's what you want to do after a fight, of course. If everyone is ready, let us begin. Orianger, the floor is yours. As all here assembled now know, in its final hours as our Order's headquarters, the Waking Sands did play host to a most unexpected visitor. I speak of the Asian clad in white, Elidibus. Unwelcome though his presence was, his words that day did serve to confirm a truth long suspected, that the Asians are eternal beings, to whom physical destruction is as a temporary inconvenience. In the intervening time, Ariange and I have striven to discover means by which the Asians might more permanently be slain. And tis my belief that we have found the thread that will allow us to unravel the twisted skein of their existence. 
the moments prior to Leviathan's most recent manifestation, the Sahagin Elder who summoned him was observed to undergo some manner of ascension. The etheric readings taken by Yashtola at the time of this transfiguration have proven most enlightening. Yastola, I thought it was Istola, Yastola. Yastola. The disruption to the flow of ether was sudden and dramatic. So tangible was the agitation, I scarce had need of my goggles. The significance of Yashtola's readings might better be understood in the context of mine own, taken at the instant of the Lord of Levin's demise. Unlike the primal, the Sahagin was not subject to etheric dissipation. Before discussing our new discoveries, it may benefit us all to recall what we know of etheric behavior. Let us begin at what some might call the end. When we who dwell in the material realm die, our spirits dissolve into the flow of ether and are returned to the ethereal realm. In turn, the restless energy which suffuses that plane streams back into our world, giving rise to new life. So would that be some form of reincarnation then? Tis as the heavens did decree, the way of all mortal souls. Twixt this world and the next do the ethereal currents Actually, I like this one more. bearing the very essence of life. Thus doth the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth continue unabated. Primals behave somewhat differently. In order to manifest and then maintain a physical presence in this realm, they must consume vast quantities of ether, most often in the form of crystals. Though they may seem to live, their flesh is but ether given shape. Thus, a defeated primal leaves behind no broken corpse. Rather, the essence of its form seeps back into the land whence it came, and the energy of its shattered spirit is called back to the ethereal realm. And there it waiteth, till next the prayers of the faithful do draw it forth from the sea of ether to take their offering of crystals and make for itself a new body. Which brings us on to the third group, the so-called immortals. They exist in a manner all their own. Quite. Even as the Sahagin Elder fell to the Admiral's musket shot, I witnessed the release of an ethereal cloud, which immediately took possession of a nearby minion. A soul that dissipateth not upon the death of the flesh. The secret of life everlasting and in the claws of a Sahagin, no less. But I wonder, what would happen to one of these obstinate spirits should there be no suitable host for it to claim? If mortal death entails a return to the ethereal realm, it seems doubtful that the soul of an immortal would venture there. Nay, it merely withdraweth the distance unto the shore of the ethereal sea, perchance, but no further. Yes, it exists in neither this realm nor the next, abiding instead in the space that lies between them. The Asians took control of Thancred by means of a crystal of darkness, an artifact which, if our theories are correct, serves as a gateway to the place I have just described. I was hoping people had forgotten about that. I am sorry, my friend. For a mercy, the weary road of our research hath brought us unto an answer. The Sahagan ascended to an immortal state, but he did not possess a crystal of darkness through which to flee this realm. Thus was he consumed by Leviathan. 
If we could entrap the spirits of defeated Asians in like manner, and thereby deny them resurrection... Therein lieth the path to victory. Thou art most perceptive, my lady. Only when we have trapped the bodiless soul within an ethereal prison can we hope to defeat its unnatural constancy. Thus might even an eternal paragon be consigned to oblivion. These feats are, of course, far easier said than done. At present, we lack a viable means to entrap and extinguish an Asian soul. Yet, I believe it to be possible. The pieces of the puzzle lie before us. We have but to put them together. I will depart at once to convene with the sages of Shalian. Together shall we divine the steps by which our goals may be achieved. I have the utmost faith in you, Archon. Beg pardon, Antecedent, but I would raise one final matter. Even now, a Charlian survey party seeketh to ascertain the fate of the students of Baldessian. Their findings shall soon be known to us. Though you harbor feelings of dread, I bid you surrender not to sorrow, but abide instead in hopeful prayer. I shall, Archon. Thank you. The Lord of Leven has returned to the Aether, as was Leviathan before him. Ramu's acquaintance was acquaintance was more intriguing. Was most intriguing. Inferno, Vortex, Clag, Whirl, and Levin all have been humbled by the Bringer of Light. The limitless potential of men, Hydralin's servants grow mightier by the day. Yet she possesses uh, uh, prospers at great oh, yet she prospers at great cost for her mistress, whose strength is all to finite. Seven times have the masses survived the rejoining, but their souls are grown weak and one. Yet even as it enervates, the arbor empowers our master. All that remains is to nurture the strength to the gifted to forge the final key. And that is the task to which we bend our every effort. Divine seeds, wherever wont to, wherever wont to quicken in the Eorzea's fertile soil, we need only lead men to the field, and by their eager hands shall the new deity rise. True. That which has shed it shall be made anew, and that one true God. And the one true God shall come again. I wonder who that is then. Oh, Ultima? I honestly don't know. 
A guardian of Aosia. What do we get? Yeah, I'll probably go with skill speed or something. Now that the matter of Ramu has for the present been put to rest, there is something I would show you. Now. This is a letter of thanks signed by the leaders of the Aeorsian Alliance, acknowledging the science tireless service to the realm. Okay, that's great. In mentions, in particular the names of all the defeated primals Ifrit, Titan, Garuda, Good King Mugo, Morg, the Twelve, Leviathan, and Aramu. Needless to say, there is only one amongst our numbers to have faced them all. And though these words of gratitude were addressed to our order as a whole, I feel that they were meant for you above all others. I too must offer my heartfelt thanks to all that you have done. In the course of your duties, you have never once failed to answer my call to arms. You are a true hero, you know. And the Eorzea is that much the safer for your presence. Pray do not misunderstand me. I say safer, not safe. I know all too well that we can ill afford to lower our guard. The Asians may be relied upon to sow chaos in the realm until such time as they are forced to stop. Why, even without their encouragement, you may be assured that man would form and strive on its own. And that is to say nothing of the beast tribes. Unless we learn to live in harmony, the primals too will return to plague us again and again and again. And yet, despite of all this, your deeds serve to inspire the people, to give them hope for a better tomorrow. And there is no greater gift. That we have the courage to strive for what might otherwise seem an impossible peace, we owe in no small part to the dangers you faced on our behalf, and the people you have won over to our cause in so doing. Our list of enemies has ever been long, but think of the allies with whom we are now blessed. Of the sylphs of little Solons who wish not for conflict, of the Alamigans and the Domans who stand with us, determined to hold the dread march of the Empire. And then there is Sid and the Fellowship of Noah, racing to unlock the mysteries of ancient Allah, that we might be spared the horrors of another Ultima weapon. Of course, when speaking of our greatest allies, we must not forget those closest to us, by which I mean our fellow scions. Thanks to their many and varied talents, our order is uniquely equipped to combat the far-reaching corruption of the Asians, and combat it we shall. Your enthusiasm is truly heartwarming and dissident. Given our embarrassing wealth of allies, <coughs> I will trust it will not inconvenience you undully if I a bit myself for a while. Yeah. Alfinet. I take it the troubles in Ulda no longer require attention. There are yet some rumblings of discontent, but the air of shimmering violence is largely dissipated. It's to report such that I stand before you now. That and I sp and to speak with you concerning the new organization we discussed. Ah, I have a message from you from Ella... Um, you recall the refugee girl, the one whose parents were missing. They were found unharmed. She wishes to pass on her thanks to you. Why, Alfinot, I am I to understand that you made an effort to remember the poor girl's name. I look forward to reading all about her in your report. I do hope you left nothing out.
Una, you have been away from Reverend Stoll for some time now. I believe... Might I suggest that you put affairs of the realm to one side for the moment and take this opportunity to reacquaintance yourselves with the town? Which reminds me, one of the Doman children recently inquired as to your whereabouts. Yozan was his name. I believe he has some small matter he wishes to share with you. Why not oblige him with a visit? It sounds like a mission again. Just rushed past it. There you go. Look, it's Miss Une. She's back from her adventures. We heard that you were all fighting primals and that they were some so, uh, that they are that they're some of the strongest enemies you could ever face. I wish I could see you in battle. Anyways. We all want to be heroes too, and we finally formed our very own Doman Adventurers Guild to protect all the Domans. Oh, do you think you could train us someday? Maybe you could show us how you fought the primals. What's all this commotion, eh? Um, Mr. Boulder and Mr. Coultonet? Do you know that Miss Una is back? So it would seem. Welcome home. My companion and I but recently became full members of the science and I believe proper introductions have yet to be made. I am known as Hura Hoari Boulder and this bookish fellow is Kultenet. Though we remain largely unproven as adventurers, we have taken upon ourselves to instruct the dome and yondlings in the are the arts of combat. I told you, Mr. Boulder, we are not the younglings anymore, we are adventurers. And we and we were just asking if she could give us some uh, special training. I think we're ready to hurt uh, to hunt monsters outside alongside her, don't you? I don't think so. Well, you've certainly been diligent with your drills, but I'm afraid the fields of Mordona are still ever so slightly too dangerous for you. I have a counter-proposal. What if I were to cross swords with Une and demonstrate of skill of arms, if you will? Alright. If I didn't know any better, and I do, I'd say you were merely seeking to test yourself against the legend. <laughs> well, mayhap I am. But what matters the motives when the children stand to learn to uh, to learn so much from the lesson? What say you? Would you consent to spar with me? Sure. Well, why not? It's not that I have free time or anything. Okay, we've got a tournament. Come on, everyone. We must prepare our gear for an outing. Do, do try not to disappoint them, eh? Have faith, Gwyneth. I shall summon every last ounce of my strength to make this a worthy contest. The field to the east of the town should provide suitable for our uh, purpose. I very much look forward to our bout. Okay. Uh, there's the way out. Uh, what class shall we do? I kind of don't want to do it on my healer this time. I'm thinking... Ninja. Hmm. 
What's good of you to agree to this, and I trust you are ready to begin. Yeah, let's go. It's fine. Very well. Let us keep. Uh, let us not keep the younglings waiting any longer. Are you certain you wish to fight her alone? That is une face. What better way to test my met uh, metal? Pray allow me to attempt the first round unaided. After all, it was this hero's legend that led me to join the science to begin with. Without Une to inspire my effort, I would not be half the warrior I am today. Well, you're untested as an adventurer, so you're not really like in the warrior, right? Your point is well made, but remember, this is for the children's sake as well as your own. Should it appear the contest will end too swiftly, I shall add my spells to your blade work. Great. So two versus one. Hello? We, you haven't begun yet, have you? Of course, the entire town has come to see. <laughs> Where are all those people? Seriously, you don't know the science? Yet you joined the science. When I heard about your sparring match, I told everyone I could find. Though you could use a crowd to cheer you on. Yes, and there are still more to come. When I mentioned his name, the reaction was quite enthusiastic. Why, my own popularity seems to be... a uh, stickly shade in comparison. You best claim victory, bringer of light. Your Burgians' reputation is at stake. Bogians? Not sure how to pronounce that. Well, our teacher won't be beaten so easily. He's a master swordsman. You can win. No, we can't. We shall soon see on your guard. Okay, hopefully I'll... Uh... Oh, look at that damn grin. Oh, wait, wow, what? Are you joking, right? Da da wow. <sighs> okay. Uh, could we just get a lock on him, please? Thank you. Oh, thank you for just standing still for a while. Okay, now the entire town. He was weak. So weak. You've bested me, I yield. That was incredible. She beat them both at the same time. We uh we knew you wouldn't lose, you know. None can defeat the guardian of Eorzea. Now I see why they sent you to deal with the primals. I have much work to do if I am to attempt the same. Right. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Impressive as always, you know. It's ever a pleasure to witness the spectacle of your martial prowess. A judge, uh, and judging by the smiles on their f uh, many faces, they too appreciate the hard-won strength that keeps the perils of the realm at bay. Guardian of Eorzea. Yes, that is a most fitting title. Do you recall when we first met? 
It was at a memorial serval service at the Battle of Chunt. That's not the first time, dude. You were sitting in the carriage. Uh, on the ship. That's the first time we actually met. You were just too full of yourself. At the time, I was yet attempting to understand this land of Eorzea. I sought to gasp the reason why Grandfather willingly uh, sacrificed himself to protect it. I shall speak plainly. My initial impression were less than favorable. Dire problems abounded, and yet the effort I saw expended towards their solution was haphazard and half-hearted. I thought Eorzea's a foolish and childish people. Considering the shambles their home was in, I would not have been surprised if some had chosen to swear allegiance to Ga Gaius and the order he proposed to enforce. The legislature's single-minded military invasion precluded any such switching of loyalty, of course. Were it not for a desire to continue Grandfather's legacy, I would have abandoned the realm to its faith long ago. The, the threats were too many, the nation too self-involved and unstable. Look at the face. It was you who convinced me to save to salvation of Eorzea. It was you who convinced me the salvation of Eorzea was possible. It was you who taught me through countless acts of bravery that what my grandsire sought to preserve was not the land, nor its history, nor any single nation. It was the people, these wonderful, oved, infuriating, stubborn people that suffer blow after terrible blow only to drag themselves back on their feet to face another day. Though he never put such feelings into words, I believe Grandfather's admi admiration for this inexcusable courage grew into a fervent wish, a wish to aid Eorzea and his inhabitants in charting uh, a course for the future. I wish that uh, has now become a wish that has now become my own. I too will endeavor to keep up the mantle of guardian of Eorzea and champion these people who toil towards a better world. All right. Our course, however, is not a simple one. The troubles that plague us uh, uh, that plague us are of a scale that cannot be solved by the science of the seven dawn alone. Now that the need, now that the needed to tackle the root of the, now what is needed to tackle the root of the primal threat and effectively counter the schemes of the Asians is a new expanded organization that operates beyond the limits of a nation and borders. If you would aid me in building such an organization, then pray let us continue to discuss back within the walls of the Rising Stone. To discuss back, the discussion back into the... Yep, English number one. Okay, let's go. I think mainly it, it's about, it's talking now. Until we reach like 2.4, I'm assuming. Thank you for coming. Uh, the word the world shifts and alters and we my friend must ever be the one step ahead of the chaos what i propose is the formation of a new organization a group that shall pave the way for a truly united eorzea 
Recruiting the realm. Oh my. Pray forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would speak first of the grand plan. Since the advert of the seventh astral area, the leaders of the three nations have been del deliberating over the accord that seeks to bring the desperate forces, forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will, the military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land and directed against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet while the pur purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formations have become the source of endless debate. And the longer these dis Discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus, impetus towards un, I, un, I, uni, uh, unification, uh, yeah, Impen, impetus. So the more I sense the impetus towards unification drawn away, thus have I been campaigning for the creation of what might be considered a trial company. It will be on a much smaller scale than what we hoped to eventually achieve, but capable of the same matter of unrestricted operation according to the science. It's my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledging organization under the authority of the antecedent. The science worked tirelessly to protect Eorzea and its people. But as you yourself have witnessed with the refugee revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the science command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. The goal of my proposed organization and those of the science are ultimately identical. A point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move towards, uh, before I can move forward with establishing this precursor to the true bordering spanning grand company, this yet, this yet necessary, it, what the fuck? But before I can move forward with establishing this precursor to the true bordering spanning grand company, it's yet necessary that I visit the three leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me to the uh, accompany me on the journey and attend to the business of recruiting our inaugural members while I'm otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Man, he talks so much. Thank you. It's reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light and her discerning eye will be selected. Selecting of, of future allies. Okay. Let's go to Limsa. Okay, let's go.
Ah, there you are. I'm ready to ascend to the bridge and speak to the Admiral. While the Admiral and I are finalizing per missionary bounties and signing boundaries and signing part parchments, I would have you begin recruiting process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through virus channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of the opportunity. As for potential members, it is of no it's of no matter should they already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it. And you needn't uh, need not range into the countryside. The upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. Once you're satisfied with your recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticket counter and then we might uh, dip, uh, prepare for the next leg of our journey. Alright, let's go. Uh, I think we'll go to the most upper part, like... Oh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, we'll go to the Marauders Guild. Well, actually going all over the place, damn. My voice is starting to give out. Uh, which is going to be very, very problematic. Right now. Master Alpha not new organization. Yes, I've heard of the formation of its trial company was in the offing. It's with regret, however, that I must decline your invitation. As commander of the Yellow Jackets, to protect limbs and Lemonsas ne uh, must needs receive my full attention. That makes sense. I would not expect you to actually accept. Uh, to the left. Then take portal to the aft castle, I believe. <coughs> An organization with the freedom to operate within the territory in Puny. I must say your proposal intrigues me, but the Kraken's well known that there is a time to act and a time to watch, and I'm afraid this trial company of yours falls under the later uh, category. Okay, so nobody actually gives a crap. Awesome. Uh, off castle. Uh, furthest away. I actually assume it's this third. Never been here, I think. Oh, yes. Ryle. Well, if it isn't Une, I'd not forget adventuring brave enough to die or daft enough to seek the shortcut into Titan's Bat Chamber. I remember uh, you remember old Ryle. Don't you? Formerly of the Company of Heroes, three whistles at Bronze Lake. Aye, it ain't often I drag my ass out for Limsa for a drink, but I'm glad I did. How fair these days. Mm. Looking, to to, looking to put together a new crew, top tier worker. Ah, sounds like a right lark it does. Alright, let's count me in. The heroes may have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into me grave just yet. Okay, so that's one. It's a very nice view. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay, 
Yeah, uh, I, I think this is definitely the last mission I'll do because this is, is really not good for my voice. Uh, precursor to a united Eorzean Grand Company. Hmm. Well, I do admire the scope of your ambitions. My responsible here at Nal uh, Naldic and Veramils keep me close to the forge. Okay, that's a no. I do not have the time to be depressing Hida and Yon across the realm. Should you require my skills as an armor, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. Are we seriously going to be asking? No, I was actually thinking we were going to be asking someone else. Who is you? Who in the bloody hell do you think you're talking to, Drylander? I'm a pirate, not some soddy knight in shining plate. If you're looking for a self-righteous fop, try knocking on that dandy's carvener's door. I think that's a no. Alright, now we can go to the landing strip. There we go. Your recruiting went well, I trust. I'm curious as to how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsa. Ah, a member of the legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could boast the acquaintance of such an elusive character. I too was successful in my task. The Admiral consented to sign all the documents required her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seatseer pursues as smoothly. Pray continue to Gradania at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at the Amphosic Altar. that of course <coughs> my audience with the Alicitsa is due to commence momentarily I would be grateful if you would once more seek to uh, seek to the task of recruiting here in Gradania. After you deem the well of potential candidates has run dry, let us render you to ask. Oh, come on, it's the same thing ever again. One over there, 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 and here. So, if I go here, make this round, and then I can probably go. It's only only in there. Never mind. Uh, yeah, amphitheater. There you go. Laurentius. Oh God, can it truly be you? What a flicker... By what flickle fortune must the first face I see upon my release be you? Oh wait, this is the guy who... Seriously, he, he backstabbed uh, his comrades with the Guardian Empire. Uh, could it be you don't remember me? It is I, Laurentius, the man whose crimes you exposed. I was a whaler and a regular patron at uh, Buscarens. Oh yes, now I remember. 
Well, of course you do. I was beginning to wonder if Gaul had changed me more than I realized. Not that I have any particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. Hmm. The, lesser, the less sad of my past, the better, I suppose. And, and what of you, adventurer? What business brings you to these parts of Gridania? Recruiting. And what is your policy on f reformed convicts? As matters stand, the Woodwillers will have not more to do with me. This, this may be just the second chance I was looking for. Reverend Stoll, you say. I will leave at once. You shall not regret this. I promise you, I'm a changed man. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Come on, man. Uh, now we go here, then take a left. Uh, we'll take a look at the achie achievements exchange. I haven't looked on my points, actually. Well, we'll do that over there. Right over here. Twenty. So we could get a few mounts. Or songs. I think don't like the bear move, but he's also six. You know. Also want all of these. Yeah, we'll do that later. I don't. I like one of them. One of the mounts. The others. It's fine. Uh, grandfather, you m must call it a day. Let us return to the guild and rest ere your tormented back gives you rest your tormented back gives you on you for good I'm terribly so we just how oh, is it it's been some time since I passed crossed outside the copper bell mines why you were barely more than a novice adventurer then but now but look how far you've come mother Minok tells me it was you who felt a fearsome black wolf and now you see Stout-hearted soul to fill the ranks of a new order. Hmm. Well, your cause is undoubtedly just, and my old companion here would be much relieved, much relieved to see me in good hands. Yes, yes, I'll do it. This is the very thing I've spent my entire adventuring career working towards. I shall join your company, just as I've seen Illusorius safe home. Okay, okay that, that's great. Come, go away. Why am I? Scrap me Uh. Oh, it's sightseeing. Did I click her? Sightseeing. We'll go over that. Oh, well, yeah, that is, that is the one that gave us the sightseeing. I was like, I, I must have accidentally clicked her because I was actually quite confused for a moment there. Uh, I don't mind the recruiting in this area. Your sandal? I think he's too old, man. You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions. I'm both puzzled, uh, puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young mistress, but I cannot accept. I just want to abide here for whatever scant years remain to me and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has wrought upon this land yeah oh, that's how you oh my why you ask him he's like ancient like me yeah talk to him take land skill to the ship go to Uldar do the end talk finish up and then next time we'll do 2.4 next time being Monday it's not often a guild officer such as yourself 
get uh, such as myself gets recruited and this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise but its duties l appear less than focused i must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized okay two people airship landing Uh, Edsa was most admirable about our recognition of former Waterbillier and a seasoned adventurer. Our company will not lack variety, that much is certain. An interesting harvest indeed. We shall strike to Uda while the iron is hot. Yeah, we'll meet you there. Uh, yeah, promenade. Royal promenade. Chamber of rule. Ah, uh, this this town is probably not as easy to navigate. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Uda, the gilded city, where one's fortune defines one's worth. I hope some manner of fortune is with us. And that this final lag provides us successful. And this final lag proves as success, success, successful as the previous one. Might I suggest descending to the lower level before beginning your recruitment efforts. I don't think the Sultana will be taken kindly to us approaching her personal guard. Let us meet back here at the promenade. Oh, I need to go to the promenade this time. That's, that's a bloody shame. Let's take a look. So, one, two, three, four, five. Mid over there, then get over here, and then take. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll go here to the exchange. Or oh, what if we dump down here? Where will we begin? Over there. You know, let us begin over there. Naruto running style. Here is Wilred. Hmm, wait. You're the lady who came to Little Alamiga looking for that masked devil. Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't. I'd probably be dead and a whole lot more of my friends besides. We were such for Oh, he's the guy who... Yeah, okay, I, I remember him. Any road. That disaster really got me thinking about our homeland and about the outsider who saved us from ourselves. I realized how easy it, I've been manipulated and vowed to make, to make of myself a more worthy man. So here I am. A new company of champions. And you say I will, it will take me to all corners of the realm. That sounds exactly like the kind of opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stripling you met in little alamigo i've prepared myself to fight the evil i now know is out there how nice yeah that means we'll just do this backwards we'll go over to the miners guild i think so far from like the two point X. I'll just call it like that. This is my least favorite. Ocean. I don't know. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Do you remember me, perhaps? I am Ocean of the Church of St. Adama Landama. Thank you again for your timely rescue. And I must also thank you for preventing that fraudulent priest from prior praying on uh, dry bones less fortunate. A most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion Tentred, wasn't? Oh, yeah. Ah, this new company you seek, there, uh, seek then. Your, propo your proposed organization sounds a powerful force of good. But my place is at the church with the children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in your undertaking. Okay, good. Next would be on to our right. So much travel. Yellow moon. 
I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this a new fashion manner of propos uh, proposition? Propose. Propositioning a lady? Sure. Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. This lady is already spoken for. Good day to you, miss. Well, I guess not. And now we take the Aoife shot. Right over there. Start over here. Here is Landerbird. I think we met him, yeah, with the other one. Aye, you'd be surprised what rumors dress down to Pearl Lane. I know of the glorious new company of yours, and just how far I'd go to avoid getting involved with it. Whispers on the street say your organization is funded by corrupt coin, by syndicate money. If you think you're recruiting just... Uh, if you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool. Then I took you for. That's interesting he says that. And we'll get to that. Probably next. Str few stream. Probably next week. Oh he's going to be a no. A company that. That looks to cure the ills on the realm entire. Listen friend. I can scarce bear the complaints of the next star over. Let alone the. Conundrums. Of a neighbor nation. Well, that's a big ass no. Okay, Royal Promenade again. We'll finish this mission, and that is absolutely where I finish it off. It's it's two missions till the end of this patch. I am aware of that. But I can't just simply can my voice is giving out. How fair do you know? What hidden gems did the Street of Olda offer to the unrelenting gaze? I think one, right? Hmm. A single aluminium youth. Well, you certainly gives us an admirable start, even if your ranks are yet somewhat thin. In these troubled years following the calamity, talk of yours your salvation must seem akin to gasping at cloud. I think he's right on that. But there are those who have risen to the challenge, nevertheless, nonetheless. And the hope that inspires these people was born in no small part of the victories you yourself have won. Thank you, ne? I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. And yes, we are free to begin and you have no doubt surmised the sultanas also graced my trial company with her blessings. Our first wave of recruiting is over, the documents signed and the finances secure. There is not to prevent me from taking the next step. You are concerned by the syndicate's involvement, as was I. Thus was the or origin of every coin of their contribution carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. Naturally, I would prefer not to rely upon outside sources at all, but even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. And as for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things uh, shall plague us until the company has had its chance to prove its worth. It will not be an easy process, but it, but we will earn people's trust once success at a time. One success at a time. Speaking of which, of speaking of time, we should waste no more of it. Let us return to the Rising Stone. Yeah. Oh man, that was tough. That was so tough. There's so much reading. The damn. What's up with this cinematic?
Tell me, General, what think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? We have all pledged our cooperation, yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the warrior of light would betray our cause. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Telechi. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing? Then what good our government? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Have faith, Your Grace. It is not over. Okay. Uh, let's head over to the uh, Rising Stone. That's where we definitely will end. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. We'll end it this time. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. And that's it for me today because my voice is actually giving out and I got a lot of other things to do. So, have a good one. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Twice. Yes. Bye bye.